What's good, John? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video, man. So we just finished the live stream reaction for the Go Home Show on SmackDown, man. It was some some interesting things went down on the show. There was some amazing stuff, and then there was some quite confusing, doesn't make sense from a storyline sense or situation that was going on on the show. So we gotta talk about that. But first thing first, I'm, I gotta talk about the best part of this show, hands down. The interaction with The Miz and L.A. Knight was fantastic. That that definitely hyped me up even more for their match at Payback tomorrow, man. That was great. The, the past few instances where they've had a promo battle have been fantastic. And this one was more or less the same. Miz on Monday Night Raw came out just like LA Knight and his impression, uh, impersonation of LA Knight was spot on. It was great. Great heel work. Miz comes out on SmackDown. Oh, and he's talking about how easy it is to be LA Knight. And LA Knight music hit. Crowd going crazy as you expected. And I like that LA Knight brought this up. We've seen this. LA Knight brought up the fact that the Miz likes to cosplay. He cosplays as, as The Rock. He has cosplayed as John Cena at one point. And now he cosplaying as LA Knight myself, you know, as he was saying. And he's like, the thing is that they have in common is you want to be them. You want to have the career that they have. And LA Knight pretty much, you know, was telling him that how he had to get it out the mud. How he had to... And was sleeping in cars and and didn't really have money like that and sleeping in in hotel rooms with roaches and stuff like that and it's just it was i guess you can say it was opening up for people who don't know you know what i'm saying his backstory and how he had to grind to get it to where he is now and i love them blurring the lines of what's real and what's not like how they're using real life situations or whatnot. Like the Miz commented on, I believe there's a video of him talking into like a makeshift microphone, pretending to be the rock delivering a promo. And the Miz mentioned that he mentioned, that's all you are, you know? And I, uh, you know, he was basically saying that, you know, yeah, I came from reality TV, but I'm a star. I got this, I got this. I, you know, I have a, 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 a great show with my wife and all this other stuff. And then L.A. Knight retorted back, letting them know, like, yeah, you 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 came from this place and it was easy for you to get to the to where you were. But at the end of the day, listen, you talking about your show like you was the star. No, you weren't the star. You were carrying her bags while she was carrying your balls, balls, you know what I'm saying? And they were really going back and forth. And he said, look, I want to apologize to your wife ahead of time because I'm going to. I'm going to send you back a broken man. You won't be able to fill her up. You know what I'm saying? But she can give me a call anytime and we can, <laughs> we can make something. Take. I was like, oh, this is getting good. This was great. We weren't even really talking me and Dub in the stream. We was just listening in and watching these guys cook each other, bro. They were cooking each other at 500 degrees. <laughs> Both of them. They burnt down the kitchen. Even though L.A. Knight had a little bit of a fumble when he was talking about uh, his money problems, but he still recovered, and it was still a passionate promo. He said, bro, on Saturday, I'm, I'm going to stomp you out, you know? And it was great. It was fantastic. They get into a little scuffle. The Miz get the best of them, hitting the skull uh, crushing finale or whatnot. He walks up the ramp, the Miz, and he does, L.A. Knight does what I've been wanting most wrestlers do. And that is break that invisible wall, that invisible barrier where the ropes are, where they can't get to their opponent. He ran down the ramp. He went through the ropes, ran down the ramp, attacked Miz and started giving him the beats. They had to get the referees off of him. I love it. The referees and officials trying to break it up, hold back LA Knight. The Miz is running away like a scolded dog. That is what I love to see. This segment was great. Crowd chanting LA Knight. Looking forward to this match. Best part of the show. Dead ass. Fantastic. So I had to get that out the way. Looking forward to this match. It's, it's, it's going to be a good one. I I, I really do think they, they it could be match of the night. The story is there. The promo's been there. 
I'm looking forward to it. So we got to talk about what's going on with Jimmy or whatnot. So John Cena starts off the show electric as you expect it. Expect you can't see me there. Man was there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was enjoying it. Then Jimmy comes out. He comes out actually with some new music. And the new music he has was actually pretty dope or whatnot. So he comes out there. Crowd is chanting, we want Jay. Obviously, when Jimmy's out there. And now uh, Jimmy feels like he's a top star. He He's talking to John Cena like, why are you out here? The people came to see me. I'm the I'm a top star now. I'm like, oh, very interesting. I didn't know uh, Jimmy has become a top star <laughs> as of recently now. He said, this is his ring. You know what I'm saying? And you don't belong here. And he also made a mention to say, John, you really like Roman. You just put a smile on your face. You're literally like Roman. He compares him to Roman Reigns as this guy that, takes and takes and takes from everybody you just do it with a smile on your face or whatnot and we knew at some point john cena was gonna cook the guy you know but he didn't even have to put jimmy in the oven he put jimmy in the microwave all he had to say was one simple thing he said i've been waiting to say this for a very long time the wrong uso quit and that's all he had to say Crowd said, ooh, the wrong goose so quit. He put him in the microwave for three minutes and 55 seconds. Not even a full four minutes. So three minutes, 355, took him out the oven, let the food cool off, and that was it. That's that, He served him just, just like that. At that point, Jimmy tries to super kick him, but obviously Cena being a Cena, he sees it coming or whatnot and hits him with the attitude adjustment or whatnot and walks out the ring. Or what not. So we cut through various segments of Jimmy just being rude to people. It was a backstage guy with a production crate. He was being rude to him. Then um uh Mia Yim. Uh I don't think she goes by uh, I don't think she goes by Mia Yim her name, but I'm gonna call her Mia Yim because that's what I knew her as originally in NXT. She's talking to Adam Pierce and Jimmy interrupts it. She Mia gets upset about it or whatnot. And it's it's coming off like Jimmy is is like he's feeling entitled, like he he's feeling more so bigger than he should be. Um, someone had mentioned it in our chat. Jimmy is doing the same thing that he was afraid Jay was gonna become if he beat Roman Reigns. Jay, Jimmy felt like Jay was gonna end up turning into Roman when Jimmy's starting to act like he's Roman now, like he's the big guy or whatnot. So because that interaction. And that interruption and Mia feeling feeling disrespected, she went to talk to AJ Styles about it. AJ said, nah, I'm going to handle it for you, Mia. So AJ confronts Jimmy as he's about to quote unquote leave or whatnot. Like, yo, what's up? Why are you disrespecting my friend or whatnot? And they get in each other's faces. Uh, Jimmy pushes AJ. AJ shoves Jimmy to the ground. And then Solo Sokol out of nowhere attacks AJ Styles from behind. And then he tells Jimmy... You can't leave the bloodline. What are you doing? And then Jimmy gets up and proceeds to say, man, I'm done with you. I'm done with Roman. I'm done with the bloodline. I don't, I don't care. And then it's presumed that he leaves the arena or whatever, right? So AJ ends up getting the match with Solo Sokolo. They have their match. And then, you know, typical match, nothing, nothing crazy to talk about here. But it looks like AJ is potentially going to win the match. He goes to the top row for the phenomenal forearm or getting ready to. And then you see Jimmy come out of nowhere, sideswipe uh, AJ Styles' leg off the top rope. He falls, and then he ends up getting hit with the Samoan spike by Solo. Solo gets the one, two, three win while Paul Heyman is out there or whatnot. And Jimmy comes into the ring, you know, trying to hug Jay uh, Solo like, yeah, we, we got the job done. And then Solo about to hit him with the Samoan spike. On Jimmy, Paul tells him to stop. He stops. Solo gets out the ring or whatever. And then as AJ Styles is coming to or whatnot, uh, Jimmy super kicks AJ Styles, goes to the top rope, hits the splash on uh, AJ Styles. He's looking at Solo. He's looking at Paul Heyman. And he proceeds to put up the one as if he's back in the bloodline. Now, here's my issue with that. 
Why? How does that make any sense? I know somebody's going to try to justify this storyline. That makes, I, I just I want you guys to know, that makes absolute no sense. I'm being so dead serious. That makes no sense for his character to all of a sudden now wants to kind of align himself with the bloodline. You putting up the ones like you're aligning yourself with the people that you said you weren't going to align yourself with. You even betrayed your own brother and said, I didn't betray them for them. I'm, I don't want to have anything to do with them. I betrayed you because I don't want you to be like Roman. You literally said earlier that night when Solo's like, you can't leave the bloodline. You said, I'm out. To proceed to help Solo and then put up the ones as if you want to be back in? That's confusing. That get, They're ruining Jimmy, in my opinion. His character is, is indecisive. He doesn't know whether he wants to be in or whether he wants to be out. And when you really think about it, he was the first one to initiate leaving. If you guys think about it, he was the one that kicked Roman in the face when Jay, Jay didn't do it. And he's the one that told Jay, you should have did this a long time ago and kicked Roman in the face. He's the one that started this initial breakup because he wasn't liking how he was being treated. He wasn't liking how they were being treated to then all of a sudden throw up the ones again with the people that's mistreated you. Can we... Are we going to forget that the nigga got sent to the hospital per storyline by the same nigga that you just helped in the match? Even though that's your family, they put you in the hospital per storyline. That was just like a month ago. We just supposed to forget? That made no sense, dog. <laughs> that made no sense to now be like, put my ones up. I just rather him been just a lone wolf. You gave him new music. I'd rather him just been a lone wolf. He not rocking with nobody then. I would have rather that. In my opinion, that would have been a better story. I don't know. I don't know. And then I, don't, I don't know what they're doing, Jimmy. Jimmy seems lost and confused and doesn't know who he wants to align himself with. So, But yeah, that's SmackDown. Eh, kind of a middle of a road SmackDown if you ask me for a go home show. The best part, LA Knight in the Miz. Fantastic. If you haven't seen that promo segment, just go watch it. That was great. Fantastic stuff. So, comment down below. Let me know. Does it make sense for Jimmy to all of a sudden throw the ones up again? Am I tripping? Am I missing something? Let me know if that makes sense to y'all because it don't make sense to me. And also let me know if you guys enjoy that LA Knight and Miz promo. And are you guys looking forward to their match at Payback? Because I know I am. Yeah. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel Road to 150K. And I'm still here on the speed of YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me seeing. Next one. Peace.